fellow citizens, this is your future mayor speaking to you, Benito Glossom, independent candidate. Once again, here we are in the final moments of history, getting ready to vote starting Monday, October the 18th. People, it's so important you go out and vote. This is it. November the 2nd is the last day. That's the poll date. Don't wait until November the 2nd to make your vote count. Do it early. We need that. All I've given you is the truth from day one, from the beginning. My other opponents is running against me. You done read about them. You saw them on the front page of the paper. You saw what I have in plan for the city. If you think that they're gonna do something for you, then you're sadly mistaken. I'm here to tell you, they're all in bed with different friends, and they owe people favors. That's the truth of the deal. And they're gonna do nothing but get behind those doors, and you elect them in, and you won't get nothing out of them. I just got one question to ask you. The other candidates is running against me for mayor right now. When was the last time you seen them? Have you ever seen them in our neighborhoods before? Just think about it, people. They only show up when they want to be elected, or they want you to, you know, get your votes for them to be in office or whatever. Any other time, you don't see them people. Do you even know who they are? You know me? The whole city knows me. I'm known in every ward in this city, from one through four. You see me every day. Everybody knows my truck. Everybody knows Benito. But these guys want you to elect them to be their mayor. Man, please, you're killing me. That's what I'm talking about, people. Want to sell you out for a hot dog and a hamburger and some free water. Aren't we tired of that? Then they also send these other people out to your neighborhoods to, see, to, to get you to vote for them, tell you how great of a guy they are and why you should vote for them and everything. Try to fool you and coerce you into giving them your vote. But at the same time, we always put them first. We put them in office. Then once they get there, they don't give us nothing. They'll forget about you. You see how they've been running around the city like crazy, coming to your churches, knocking on your doors, wanting you to come vote for them. Vote for me, I'm the best thing happening. They ain't doing nothing but trying to fool you like they've been doing for years in the past. If you keep on voting for the same thing, you're gonna get the same results. Here I am, a different man, a different issue. See, they never saw me coming. I wouldn't I wouldn't figure it into the equation when they had this race going on at first. I done threw them for a whole loop. Everybody's talking about it. And everybody knows the truth. But sometimes people don't want to recognize the truth because it hurts. They've had the same people in place for years and years and years. A lot of money that you citizens have paid out, come out of your pocket, have paid them and keep them in the rich houses they stay in. They leave and go to work every day and come back home to those nice homes. And their kids all off in college with nice new cars and everything. But you sit at home worrying how you're going to pay your next bill. They don't care about you. They've shown you what they think about you over the years. Here we are in the third ward. That's my ward. That's what I represent, the third ward. It's a commercial desert. We have nothing. No full-scale grocery store, nothing readily available, no pharmacy, not nothing at all. Nothing but a bunch of liquor stores and a bunch of empty lots and abandoned buildings. But this is El Dorado though. El Dorado the Great. And we're gonna make a great El Dorado, a prettier, greater city to live in, low crime, you know. Man, please, get out of here with that. We're tired of all of those riff raff. It's a bunch of hoopla. Save that for the birds. People want results. They want action taken right now. I'm the man for that. You're looking at it. If you don't believe me, I'm going to tell you something. People, plain and simple. If you don't vote for me November the 2nd, forget about what you think about me or your pre notion of what you think Benito's about. Or he ain't got enough experience and all this kind of stuff. I got enough sense to know that we've been led astray, that we've been fooled and lied to for oh so long, and we're tired of it. It's time for us to stand up. Remember, my whole objective is this. I don't want to be the power over you. I want you to have the power to empower yourselves. Stand up and be heard. You've never had a voice like me. I'm not scared of none of them. The only person I fear in this world is my almighty God. I'm a man of God. That's the only person I fear in this whole entire world. And he's first in my life. He's been first in my campaign. People laughed at me at first when I put my name in the ballot. When I said I was running independent for mayor. They said it was a joke. They laughed and shunned and everything else. Now look at them. It's the truth because I stand on the truth. They're a bunch of liars and I'm not afraid to say it. Yes, you are. You're a bunch of liars. That's all you do. Lie, steal, and cheat to get to where you want to be. But this time around, it ain't going to happen because the people's eyes are open 
and the sleeping giant is very much awake and he's tired. You woken up that sleeping giant. He's here, he's standing tall. He's looking right at you, right in your face and it's over. So once again, this is Mr. Benito Blas coming to your future mayor. I'm there, but all I need you to do is go out and push that ballot and vote for me on November the 2nd. Once again, don't wait till the second. Go out early. Voting starts Monday, October the 18th. Early vote starts Monday, October the 18th. Go out and vote in masses. Let's show them that we got the power to take our city back. If we don't, people, believe me, we are going to be finished. Finished. We got to keep our minds right. Keep your attitude right. Vote for the right person. Know in your heart and your mind that this is the right person to lead your city to prosperity. Our, our past leaders in the past, you see what they've done. And you see what they're going to continue to do if you don't vote right. Vote for me. Benito Glosson, independent candidate for mayor. El Dorado, I love you.